everyone and welcome back to another episode of Jurassic World the game. I know, a little bit late, a little bit late. Um, the a new tournament creature has just came out and it is, if we go in here, well, there it is. The, um, ooh, it doesn't actually say what it is there. It is the Tupuxera. But that's not actually the only new thing that we're here for in the game. No, um, a lot of people have sent me uh, images, and even if you just go on here, there is a new super DNA. So the raptor DNA is for, uh, obviously, the Indoraptor. Um, but this new DNA, uh, we really don't know what that could be for. Um, I mean, we could assume that it might be for, like, um, a glacier creature, and maybe the other empty space is for uh, an aquatic creature. Th and that would make sense, therefore, like, there's really good land, a really good aquatic and a really good, really good glacier. Um, not too sure. I mean, I haven't seen any. I don't know. It's obviously nothing from the movies because the movies we've all those dinosaurs like Indominus Rex and all that have been done. So it's nothing like that. I don't think it's going to be their own hybrid, especially if it is a um, a land. It, may, it might be a carnivore, but it might it could be anything really. But it might be not a carnivore, is what I meant to say there, because Indoraptor is that carnivore. So maybe we'll have a flyer, a herbivore, and a aquatic, like one of each. It's possible. I don't exactly know what kind of specific DNA it is. I mean, they've called it they've called Indominus Rex's Raptor DNA um, because uh, Indominus Rex had Raptor DNA in it. Uh, so I don't know what the other ones would be. They could just be like. S DNA unique type or something. It doesn't have to be named after a dinosaur. I, I would assume anyway. But that's not the only other thing. Um, other people have also noticed that there, in here you have all Jurassic, carnivores, herbivores, pterosaurs, and at the bottom you can see the super hybrids and hybrids. And other people have sent pictures showing that the aquatics and all Cenozoics also had hybrids, a little hybrid tab in them. And somebody saw it, it was a mammoth and something else. If I ha if I find the images, I'll put them up. Um, so, um, I mean, I think somebody faced one in a, a matchup or something like that. So, there is going to be um, a new uh, Glacier Creatures, probably coming soon, if they're already being tested in the game. So, if you don't mind me, let me just collect my uh, 24 million coin, as well as all of that, because uh, I've spent it on other things. Also, yes, I'll put up these images as well. The trades, of course, have been nerfed a crud ton. Yep, it always happens, and it's so annoying, because... I want to show you guys that there's like cool things to do in the game and then as soon as I show you guys, Ludia fixes it and it annoys me so much because the custom trades were really good because if you traded a um, a Pteranodon, you'd get maybe 600 to 1000 uh, VIP points and if you traded a Bonogamous, you would get uh, over a thousand VIP. I tried to trade a Bonogamous again and got a hundred VIP points. Are you friggin' serious? A hundred VIP points. A, a whole 90% of what that Bonogamous was worth is gone. Cut. We're not talking about half of it's gone. 90%. It's basically, no, it, it's, it's worthless if you want to trade it for VIP points. So that really, really does suck because... Like, tournament creatures and uh, legendary creatures are expensive. They're not cheap. And to sell them, you know, is a big commitment, especially if you don't have many. So the fact that they just, ah, oh, you're just cutting the price, that really did suck. It's like, oh, come on, really? God damn it. Also, these ones are all done, so we may as well hatch these, because I wanted to start work towards a, um, a ma another mammoth and another uh, titanoboa. And I was right. I thought that... Ooh, you're new. Oh, that's right, because we fused you. Which means we got another badge, which means we're one step closer to the um, four extra radius of the Indominus Rex, which is going to help us. So we do need more Dilophosaurus, and we do need to hatch a Ceratosaurus as well. Um, but there was, I wanted to work towards Diplotator as well. So I do have that as well as another um, rare hybrid, I think it is. I'm not too sure exactly which one it is. But if we go into here, we'll put in something like Tijangasaurus just because we want to fill that free slot out. Um, but if I go on to, not DNA cost, it should be hybrids. Yeah, they, Nundagosaurus, that was it. Nundagosaurus 
and um, Diplotator. They were the ones I was like, you know what? We may as well get level 40s of those because they are pretty decent and there are a lot of events that need you to have rare dinosaurs. But onwards to this. Yes, also, I have the Clash of the Titans event. Um, I, if you do any more events, it closes out. Um, so ooh, we've got a goal pack there as well. Um, but this one is so hard. Look at that. Actually, you know what? It's not too bad. <laughs> If I look at it now, it ain't too bad. Um, so we have that two, two Puxa. Now, I'm not going to let this slide. I, I think I let two creatures slide and there were two glaciers. One was the um, the uh, Phosphoracus, which was the uh, glacier Terrorbird. Um, but at this point in the game, you can't afford to miss a single creature. Uh, because if you miss one tournament creature, you can bet your butt it's going to be a hybrid. So, And I've also saw somebody post on Twitter... Uh, sorry, I've got my cup of tea. Tea break, guys. Tea break. Oh my god, that's a lot of sugar. Oh, but it's so good. <laughs> mm. Oh. Oh, there's nothing beats that. Nothing beats that. So good. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, somebody posted on Twitter and tagged me saying um, that they had managed to get Indoraptor. And I was like, what? Really? You've got, you've got Indoraptor? Um... And I was thinking, I was thinking to myself, because <laughs> I saw this meme go around on Jurassic World The Live. And there was a picture of me, and it was that Nike meme. And it was like, if they've got higher level dinosaurs than you, must call them a hacker. And to be honest, everybody who commented on that was like, yeah, it's true. <laughs> yeah, but it's true though. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, somebody was like, oh, I've got Indominus Rex. Oh, sorry, Indoraptor. And I thought to myself, in in this game, in Jurassic World, the game, uh, which is why I'm questioning it. Um, because I was thinking, if, if they've got it now, that means that I've missed about 2,000 DNA. And about each one is on, on average, each achievement you get is about maybe 15 minimum. Or 15, I would say that's the mean, that's the average. Uh, 15. So, that means I've missed 10, 100 and odd. 100 and odd Indoraptor challenges. And, I mean, it has been quite a while. It has been maybe two months, I think. Um, so it is possible. And they, if they got everyone, I think they I, I think they might have legitimately got Indoraptor. I'm not saying they haven't. I'm just saying it could, it is possible. Um, but I think you'd have to do every last one. <laughs> so congratulations uh, if you do have it. And if you're watching this video um, on getting Indoraptor. Because that takes some dedication. Whereas me... If, like, this is the thing, and I kind of like it, um, I, like, two or three years ago when this game first came out, I would be on everything. I'd be staying up late, I'd be pulling all-nighters to grind for certain creatures. Like, the Mosasaur, if you guys remember the first time we got Mosasaur in this game, it was tournament, and there was a 1% chance to get it. I stayed up for two days straight, no sleep, just playing the tournament over and over and over. And finally, finally, on the night of the second day... Um, the night of the second day. <laughs> um, I was just in the front room in the living room. Um, I don't know. I think my parents were just like watching some program and Whitney was sat next to me. And I, I, I was just spinning the tournament wheel and it landed on most. And I just got up and I went straight upstairs. <laughs> like, if you watch that video, I'm, I'm still like exhausted from going up the stairs. <laughs> but um, yeah, like stuff like that, I, like I don't do anymore. Because for a start, it's been three years. I can't like... We, we've, we've got to a point in this game where I'm, I, I kind of, like, relax a little bit. And I, I like that, that I'm not, like, panicking. Um, there used to be a time where I, I would be afraid to, like, be away from my computer. Because if I missed a new creature, then other people would cover it, cover it on YouTube. They'd get more views, yada, 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 uh, that sort of thing. Whereas now, I'm like, uh, let, let, the, let other YouTubers get it first. I'm fine. <laughs> We'll do it my way. <laughs> oh, VIP mystery pack. Thank you. Ceremonial swig of tea. Celebratory, I think, is in order. Hmm. Ooh. Oh, my God. I like tea so much. Oh, so good. My child needs its tea. So, we're in red. Wow. A week? How long is this tournament? Two days. Uh, I tell you what. By the time we get the Silver League, it'll slow down, won't it? I think it will. Um, so, it's kind of annoying because because they trade they changed the trade harbor. Um, I just wish they hadn't because 
I, I don't know why I expected any different. Ludia always do this. Every time there's something good that can be sort of exploited, but not really because it doesn't break the game because you are selling your good creatures, um, they change. And the biggest change, the first change in this game was you could buy mystery packs for 100 bucks. And I did a test where for, I bought a legendary pack for 50 quid and I cross-examined the contents of that legendary pack against the contents of 50 mystery packs. And we got well worth the profit. We got more books, we got more resources, we got more just general DNA, and we got more dinosaurs to sell and in turn buy a legendary creature. Um, so that was the first thing they changed. And that kind of made sense because you could just break the game if you wanted to spend money, that is. Again, it comes at a cost. You have to actually buy money. And you have to buy money. <laughs> you have to spend money. Um, the second big change was the infinite battles. Um, you'll now notice I never do the infinite battles. They broke it. They made it so hard. Oh, please get that. That'd be awesome. They they broke the uh, the the infinite battles. At one point, you could buy back the um, the the infinite battle at a cost. And you're like, if we go, if, for example, you go battle stage infinite. And you would get a random assortment of card packs. But it was not too rare that you would come across a legendary. So what you would do is you would go fight. You would use certain creatures. Then when it would refresh. And you would... Um, actually, no, that's why it broke. Because you could exit the game, come back in, and the infinite battle pack had changed. And you would just do that until it was a legendary. Spend the bucks to uh, get it back. And then do the battle. The, now, the thing is, you might think, oh, well, there's a reason why they changed that. Because you could just infinitely win um, legendary packs. Which isn't true, actually. Because you would run out of books if you constantly bought it back. Because you weren't guaranteed books in legendary packs. Or, sorry, gold packs now. Um, and they changed that to the point where they made the dinosaurs so hard. Because they're not level 40s anymore. They're level, like, 300s. And you saw that. One of those dinosaurs had 8,000 attack or something crazy like that. Something ridiculous. Oh, it's so good. Oh, I, ca I can't. I can't underestimate. I can't explain it. This is so nice. Um, so, they cut. it's a bit of a shame because they broke it. Now, I never do mystery, uh, infinite battles because there's no point because the dinosaurs are way too hard. And if I level up any said dinosaurs, then the... Um, the, the opponents I go up against are going to be even harder. So it's a lose-lose situation for me. I wouldn't be um, surprised if they just get rid of the infinite battles. Because there's so many um, like things going on every day. That there's no need for an infinite battle. Because your creatures are always being refreshed. So you're always waiting. And if you were to use them all... I know I, <laughs> our creatures are way too tough. But... It, it makes them go quicker, which means we get more co trophies in a quicker span of time rather than doing hard things, like harder opponents. Like, we'd still be battling if it, we put in lower level creatures. Yes, we'd win more cups at the end, but I think overall we'd do more battles and eventually win more cups when the harder opponents come up. More tea! Also, I think they fixed the prizes on this. Um... And I don't know whether that's a case of everybody saying that the prizes are pretty naff on the uh, spin wheel. Because they are. Let's not lie. They are pretty rubbish. Um, because it's always coin or food or some really pitiful books or pitiful DNA. Uh, but th 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 they've changed it. I've won quite a few packs on this now. Mainly VIP packs, but still packs. Um, and w yeah, the trade harbor changed for the worse. So you have... You have and I just... I kind of want to go back and look through the first episode I did of this, because the game has changed so much. Like, for a start, you had star ratings, which is a recent change. Now you don't have star ratings, because they never really made any sense anyway. Because, I mean, the borders, like the gold, silver, and uh, bronze, and blue, show you what type of creature that is. So you don't need to see stars. Um, uh, so let's just kill that. That should be it. Oh, fighting back, are we? How dare you? <gasps> What I should do is just put in one series in a source and then put low-level creatures. But that means I have to scroll all the way, so we're not going to bother doing that. Actually, do we have a scroll at the bottom now? I think we might. Oh, God. Oh, it's so good. Oh. <laughs> I kind of just want to, like, drink my tea and just, like, supply no commentary. Just be like, 
chilling with you guys. You, you okay? Everyone drink your tea now. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> mm. 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 So there you go, there's a hundred. Um, so we should be in the silver. There you go, still racing through it pretty quick. We should be able to get the gold. And again, every time you pass into another league, supposedly, if the, you know, the tournament or the spin wheel, the prize wheel, is the same as it used to be, then you get better prizes the higher you, higher you are up. Um, oh, there you go, son! Microposaurus, a legendary! That's good! That's really good! And that's because I'm VIP, though. There's some people like, because if I didn't mention it there, people would, who, who are lower levels watching this, would think, Peeva, you just got legendary! <laughs> oh man, we didn't used to have VIP though. Back, back in the day, when you wouldn't be able to pay for VIP membership, lad. Um, that's my Yorkshire action. I apologize if anybody is watching, and they are from Yorkshire. This is the thing, this is interesting, because in England, there's, there's always a thing. Now, people, like, calling yourself Northern, it's an interesting thing. Because if you call yourself Northern, usually you're seen as, like, tougher and better. And it's like, oh, you, and people from the North, like, oh, you're from the South. or oh, you're soft boogie. And to be honest, I mean, that's not true, of course. Um, but, but usually people in the South, or in London anyway, because I, I, like, in England, you've got England, right? So you've got the whole of the UK, and then you've got London. Because London is a co it, it's like a different country, um, like completely like just in general in terms of people, uh, there's way more variety, um, and also they're a lot less friendly. Like if you come up north, everyone talks to each other and whatnot. Um, and like the first time I went to America, actually, everyone seemed really friendly. It's funny because Americans come over here and say everyone's friendly here, and in America they're not friendly. I don't know. I think it just depends where you are <laughs> in the world and what you're used to. But the common consensus is in England, people from the south aren't as friendly, and people in the north are rougher, <laughs> as a word, and uh, are friendlier. Rougher is in... Actually, I don't know what you mean by rougher. Probably just like... I don't know, less less cultured possibly. Is that what they mean? I don't know. Somebody somebody else who's from the north could t could tell me, because um, I never really thought about that. Um, the water is also better up here because we have a lot of uh, oh, what do you call it? It's a, it's the same thing that basically lime scale is, um, and it's good for you. I don't know what it's called. It's it's like it's like the white crumbly stuff, and it's in the water, and it's supposed to be good for you. Uh, and down south, the water is soft. Up here we have what's qu called hard water <laughs> because it has that lime, lime scale. Uh, it's not calcium. What is it? Oh, somebody in the comments is going to tell me what it is. Um, oh, but anyway, yes, we have that in the water. Um, as <laughs> it makes it sound bad, doesn't it? We have this in the water. Oh, God, no wonder we're freaks. Um, but yeah, oh, yeah, but the thing is, right, you have the north. And the north to me is places like Scotland, Newcastle, um, Middlesbrough, um, Sunderland. That, that's the north to me, right? Then you have the Midlands. Now, everyone in the Midlands doesn't like to call themselves Midlands. They like to call themselves the north. So people in Manchester call themselves northern. And technically, yes, they are north of London. But if you look on the map, they're kind of in the middle of the country. <laughs> because because like if you say you're from the north, it's like always I don't know, I, I, I think people see it as a good thing, like it's better. I, I don't know. I don't because I don't I don't know why you just say I'm from the Midlands. And I don't know where you'd have to be. Does anybody in the UK call themselves from the Midlands? Who are actually in the Midlands? <laughs> Cause I don't know, it's, it's like you're either, you're either south or north, so people in the Midlands don't like to call themselves Midlands. They're like, no, I'm, I'm northern. Like, Yorkshire to me, Yorkshire, that, that's, the, that's the north still, although you're bordering, sort of getting close to Midlands. And Manchester and Birmingham and stuff are a little bit lower. I think Birmingham's lower than Yorkshire, is it? I didn't even know. <laughs> I haven't checked the map in ages. Um, but yeah. Um, so yeah, there's my, my uh, geography lesson for uh, people from who aren't used to Eng England. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Because <laughs> the thing is, I know a lot of Americans don't really know um, a lot of, like, English cities or where, you know. If you're not from London or Scotland, people people in America don't know where you're from, <laughs> basically. It's the same with, I think, a lot of English people with America. Uh, if you're not from, like, New York or LA, they don't know where you're from. Um, 
Or Florida. Or anywhere with Disneyland, basically. We don't know where you're from otherwise. <laughs> Universal Studios. Um, there, there was... I'll always... I'll never forget it. I'll take, take it to my grave. And I'll tell you the story once I've had a swig of tea. Oh, so good. And that was a terrible prize. But we're getting somewhere. We may, well, you know what? I'm getting the gold. That'll be me done. I kind of want to attempt the Clash of the Titans event, though, as well. Um, so... It, I was in, I've, I've probably mentioned this story like two or three times now, so I'm sorry if you guys have heard this before, but for those of you that haven't heard it, story time, um, but there was a girl in my history class, and the history class ended up turning into a geography class. Don't ask me how, how or what we were studying at the time, um, but my, my history teacher was so taken aback by what um, the girl had to say, but basically... Um, we were we were doing like I think it was World War Two or something, and she pointed to like America, saying you know in World War Two America helped helped join the cause once after Pearl Harbor and all that jazz happened. Because um, before that, Americans weren't really wanting to get involved in World War Two. They were like ah Europe go die. <laughs> but once ja the you know the Japanese the old, what were they called? The oh my god they had a different name. Um, I mean, they were Japanese, of course, but their, their army had a different name. Um, anyway, um, when we, when the teacher pointed to America, um, the one student, one girl, put up a hand and said, uh, I thought that was us? Like, in a very, you know, common Geordie accent. <laughs> Which, of course, spews intellectualness as a word. Um... And uh, the teacher was like, what? No, no, this this is America. And then everyone was sort of looking at her thinking, Whoa, okay. And the teacher asked her, so where did... So... No, that's right. She pointed at England and then she was like, is that us? And the teacher said, yes. What, what did you think? We, which country did you think we were? And then she pointed to America thinking we were America. She said, we're tiny. <laughs> we're that tiny island. <laughs> and then, and then you open up, up a can of worms here. Because once she realized that we were an island, her brain just exploded. <laughs> because then she then she started asking questions like, Miss, if we're an island, how come you can't swim under it? <laughs> I'm led by the next one, which was amazing. I love this one. If we're an island, how come we don't float away? <laughs> <laughs> it's as if we're a floating marshmallow on an ocean. Oh, it was fantastic. And then I, I vividly remember the teacher having to draw how landmass worked. So you, it's, we're not literally just floating on the top of the ocean. No, we go down, under, and then it's flat. <laughs> so it's like filling up something. Not you just put something on top like an iceberg. Anyway, oh, it was fantastic. I was like, I just can't believe I'm watching this brilliance in unfold in front of me. And the teacher was just really cool about it. Because, I mean, the teacher could understand maybe, you know, Jen, I mean, she wasn't obviously taught it. And a lot of people who aren't interested won't research this themselves. They'll just, you know, take what they're told. So obviously she saw uh, an American TV program and or a movie. And they said, oh, you know, they pointed to America and said, that's where we live. And obviously she made the, I, d I don't know. She wasn't, she wasn't the brightest bulb in the box, but I don't think she was really that thick. I'm not, <laughs> I don't know. Oh God. I don't even remember her name. So I, I, I can't even say it was her and call her out. Not that I would do that because God, I wouldn't want to. Um, but no, it was, it, it was, it was an interesting thing. I went to a, a comprehensive school. Is that right? Because I, I said once I went to a public school and that means private. Apparently. Don't ask me how that works. In England, a public school is a private school, and a boarding school is a boarding school, and a comprehensive school is a public school. <laughs> it's confusing. I don't know. Hold on, guys. Gonna finish me tea. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, it's gorgeous. Oh, my God. Tea. Tea's the best. I need to try more types of tea. Still don't know how I haven't secured a PG Tips sponsoredness. I would love, I would love on my channel banner to put spon proudly sponsored, sponsored by PG Tips. <laughs> and just have like me with a mug like, hey, hey up Chuck. <laughs> anyway, wink. Yeah, there we go. We're into gold. Fantastic. Right, now will we get a better prize? Probably not, just because the prizes 
aren't really that great, but they have been worse, that's for sure. Ooh, 10 bucks that reimburses me for two battles. Fantastic. Um, but also, what we'll do, I'll claim that, so that's 40, because it does get doubled, the VIP points, but claim, 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 so that's 30 extra. So 2,400 now, we're only 1,600 away from Indoraptor, so we are closing in that gap. Uh, what? Look at all this. If we just collect all that, that'd be awesome. So now, you know what? We've done enough of that. That was me sort of showcasing that. Um, but what I wanted to do is this, the Clash of the Titans, because this is a pretty tricky battle. Um... So what I'll do is I'll go for Indominus Rex, I'll go for Edomorphodon, and I'll go for another Amphibian that ain't too tough. Um, so I think I'll go for a Reserve, knowing that his... Is it Micropus? No, it's not Micropus. Oh! Oh! All right then! Straight in with it! Oh yeah, the battles are so much quicker. Oh, that's so nice. Yes. So we'll go for two hits. Kill uh, the Stiggy Moloch. Stig is it called Stiggy Moloch or Stiggy Mo... Molark. Molark or Moloch. Molark. I don't know. I don't People call Draco Rex now Dracorex or something like that. I bloody don't know. Uh, <laughs> it's it, you know what I find funny? I find I find it funny that people think that I, I know like a lot about dinosaurs. And not only that, they think that I I pride myself on my dinosaur knowledge. I have never once said that I know everything about dinosaurs. And I always, I, every now and again, I'll get a comment think, saying, oh God, Beavers, man, his pronunciation of dinosaurs. He thinks he knows everything. When really, all he gets his knowledge from is Jurassic Park and walking with dinosaurs, which is severely outdated. <laughs> it's like, look, I never put myself on a pedestal, all right? <laughs> oh God. That's the thing. You can have, oh, I love those colors. They're, they're like the colors of Iguanodon in Jurassic Park Builder. And I saw a comment the other day that said, Beaver, do you remember Jurassic Park Builder? How could I forget it? It gave it my start. <laughs> so, oh God, this is an interesting one. Okie dokie. I'm going to go for Pterodactylus knowing that um, we can kill it in one hit like Presta Sutures once we get that 50% extra. Um, I think it should give us... Oh no, it'll just be less. But that's okay, as long as we've got a good carnivore like those two, I think we're good. I think we're good. Um, so what I'm going to do actually is go for one reserve. And go for one reserve and hopefully the woohoo can't kill me in one hit. Good, okay. So he might go for one, he doesn't go for one. I'm going to switch into Soprano Titan and go for two reserves, knowing that he's probably going to switch out to Press the Sutures and maybe go for one hit. He might even kill me. Oh, no, there you go. Oh, no, he didn't. <laughs> so he went for two. So he's dead. Right? Yeah, there you go. Awesome. Right, he should have three, and one can definitely kill me. Yeah, so he should go for a full-on three, and then Pterodactylus kills it in two, and then we got four reserves. And no matter what, we pretty much won. So this is the one that you needed 25, or was it 29 uh, unlocks to get? I think it was something like that. Oh god, sorry. I'm burping, but I'm also like really full, so I'm trying not to throw up. <laughs> oh god. Ah. There's a level of professionalism that I think I have on this channel, and I, it, it really shines. It, it's really why you get all the top level sponsorships. <laughs> That's the thing, right? I don't think I could work in sponsorships without it. I, I guess I could, with it seeming legit. If it's something that you guys know I like, and that's the reason why I never do sponsorships. I should do this. I should talk about this in a separate video if people really want to know. Because um, you're not going to be watching at 30 minutes in, are you? Anyway, no. Um, for those of you that are listening. Uh, yeah, I never do sponsorships that I don't feel are true to either who I am or like would seem disingenuous to you guys. Um, because I think that would be very easy for me to do. Uh, I turned down a lot of, like, brand deals and sponsors just because it's like, I, I don't want to sell out like that. And the thing is, I, every now and again, I'll still see comments of people saying, Beaver, you're such a sellout because you, you, you play this game and I'm like, I could be so much worse. <laughs> you have no idea. Uh, you don't know you're born. That's your problem. You get all this free content and in the moment I'm like, oh, that would be cool to earn like some extra money. No, you would you would do it in a heartbeat if somebody gave you money to say I love PG tips. You'd do it. 
<laughs> and they never approach me. And I would do it, honestly. I would. Uh, one, two. Uh, that should do it. He might have had one block, but there you go. I think he's probably got two reserves. Uh, no, he didn't have anything. Ah, my bad. I'm so sorry. I've, I've been I've been yabbering on about PG tips, and I haven't been paying attention to the game. So two hits, and then factor in two anyway, because I think he might have had two. Oh, did he go for four? Actually, he might have went for four there. Oops. Well, all and this is another one. I used to call it Tani Colosaurus, because I didn't really know how to say it. But it, I think it's Tani Colagrius or Tani Colagrius. Either way. I'm going to be butchered for saying... I'm going to be butchered either way. Because even if I said the right one, there's be people who said, well, he said the wrong one. And to be honest, I don't actually get that too often. I don't I don't get you guys calling me out. So I have a really nice fan base. It's just every now and again, somebody will be here, like, specifically to scrutinize every mistake I make. <laughs> every mistake. Oh, the same team? Oh, okay. Uh, all righty. Righty ho then. So this is it, the second last battle. We're about to win the Trodon pack, which I used to call Trudon until somebody said it's Trodon. Like, oh, see, you guys, are, you are the ones that help me. I'm not the one giving out how to say things and lessons. You're teaching me. I'm the one really getting a, a good deal here. <laughs> yeah. uh. So, I mean, yeah, we only got two mobiles. This is the second one. And then we will get that Trodon pack. So I'm going to switch in Raja Stager. Oh, super, super duper upa ra Raja Saurus. I don't even know what I called it. Anyway, uh, that's almost dead. He, he might not switch out because I don't think they have extra attack. This thing here, the Pterodostro, is really strong. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, we still kill him one. That's good. So I'm going to go for two and then four reserve. Because he might have had one block. I'm pretty sure he had one block. Uh, oh, he has to go for two hits anyway. And he didn't. So he... Oh, he might not even attack. Oh, that's good. That That's good. We've won. I think. I think we've won. Uh, he can't kill us in two hits. So he has to go for three. And we've basically got the same attack. So he's dead. Doesn't have anything. He has to go for... And then two. We're done. Awesome. Oh, God. Try not to kill yourself while Bourbon Jeff. <laughs> and then... <laughs> Tiny cola. <laughs> All right, let's go. Six, that should kill it. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No, he would have survived that. He would have survived that. Fantastic. And that's why the game has a feature, because otherwise I would have wasted some really good dinosaurs uh, on that battle, so like Presta Sutures. So I exited it out with just enough time. If I had hit him and then it would have said, opponent's turn, I would have been buggered either way. So we're going to go for three and then three. That way we've killed him no matter what. Because three kills him. If he does go for four block again, we've got seven um, and three kills him. So if he does go for four block, one, two, three. Yeah, that kills him. Does he have four block? Oh, he went for four block. And a super fast Indominus Rex attack. Do you remember when we first got Indominus Rex when they first made hybrids? That was the day. Because the day that was like the hybrid update came out was the day that Jurassic World, the Lego game came out as well. Or Jurassic Park, the Lego game? Because it was every everyone in that. Um, so, hmm. What should we go for here? Uh, I think that'll do. It's pretty overkill, to be honest. Um, I'm going to go for one. Uh, I don't think he, the Odomorphodon can kill me. No. He's going to switch to Concavenator. Is it Concavenator? I used to call it Con Concavoraptor. Still, I, of course, I get comments because I completely butchered. I don't even know why he went for Raptor. Uh, so we'll go for that. That Oh, 69999. 69999. Oh, that thing looks cool. Oh, that looks awesome. He's all spiky. Oh, he goes for one, and it's not enough. <laughs> Could have went for it. Wow, Segna Sutures. That's all you needed to do here, buddy. Two hits and dead. Bam! And that's it. We got the Trodon pack. Now, I don't know whether or not this Trodon pack would have unlocked the Trodon. 
I think maybe that's the way they're going to do it in future. That I think what Ludia were looking for was a way to unlock more tournament creatures without dedicating a whole tournament to them, like past tournament creatures. And the Trodon, this might have unlocked the Trodon. So if it did, that's really cool. Um, and that's really what I did it for. 2,600 VIP points. Um, there we go. So I'm going to continue to do... Um, the uh, two pucks are um, in my own spare time. And I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. There will be another one. We're continuing on with the hard challenge for Jurassic World Evolution, I think, tonight. But anyway, thank you again for sticking with this series for such a long time. I love you. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.